occasional anime recording artist from heaven back for another video. These intros make sense to anybody. I've been doing these intros for six years, I feel like. And like I don't ever know if anybody understands the reference. Anyway, um, so this is Boruto, chapter 11, True Power. That's Sasuke, Tale of Beast. Um, I think I'm about a week late, eight days late on this one. I got no spoilers. I don't know what's going to happen. I've read to this point, obviously, but uh, Sasuke, nails look amazing. Uh, got the, you know, the feet. I think those are feet. I think you can consider those feet. Uh, his his foot, the, the thumb, toe, like, is like a human thumb. It's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie to you to see his thumb toe. I guess I could just highlight it here. Uh, are we recording? Yeah, okay, so freaking sure real quick. Um, the design is interesting. Like I said in the last chapter, that uh, Kishimoto, probably Ikimoto more than anything, but you know, these combination people. Um, I think the designs have been pretty interesting in this part so far. The drip, it's also been pretty enjoyable. Um, like I said, Boruto or Naruto slash Boruto and Bleach. I've always kind of been like that when it came to games, it comes to character design, and uh, this is no different. This is the color panel. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, look at his thumb toe. So we have Kush Dakushina, Nakushina, Himawari, Himawari, who has basically entered what I thought of as nine tailed cloak, and it's in pretty similar conditions. Uh, her boy. I don't know if she actually has a relationship with this is Eno's kid, I believe. Eno slash Sai. I don't know if she has a real relationship with this kid, but it's pretty similar to when Haku. I remember her name is Haku, right? Like the almost like the poet poem from Japan. I think it's Haku. I finally remember her. I think it's a her. I also always got confused if it was a her or he. Impaled Sasuke. And that's what made Naruto like do a nine tail cloak and explode all the mirrors so this is um i think harkening back to that and i believe last time i counted it was nine tails her hair one two three four five six seven so seven i think there might be another one. Oh wait if you count her a uh, little two up top that'd be nine okay so basically nine tails with their hair so what is this um but still don't know what to call this dude yet just Tailed piece, I guess. I thought that leg was broken, but it's healed. That's something that Naruto's cloak did as well. Now, I wonder if she'll have the ability to heal others, like stage assist paths Naruto could. Uh, shit, there you go. <laughs> there you go. She healed him perfectly. It must be what he's interested in. I'm going to confirm it now. So, I don't think Naruto had the ability to regenerate for others. At least he never showed it, as I can recall. Um, before Sage of Six Paths infused Chakra kind of got into him. So, just theorizing here, could be a thing where... We also see kind of like the little aura here around uh, Lil Eno. Kind of reminiscent of the Chakra Cloak when uh, Naruto surrounded people you know, against Madara. Now, I had to think about that scene. Did, in that scene, did he heal anybody? I know he gave Hill a Chakra. But did he heal anybody with his chakra at that point? Huh. He might have. I don't remember. But he... I mean, he did OD. Once he got... Say, just his past. Like he healed Kakashi's eye. And then he healed Guy. And that was a big point of... I, I'm going to say he didn't until he got... Say, just his past chakra. My theory is that Himawari... Since she's been given this... Kind of... Uh, blessing from... God himself basically getting um, Kurama right after he died, died in air quotes, uh, died. Maybe it also came a little bit of status this past chakra or two, but we'll see, I suppose. I'm going to take him down, otherwise it's in for all of us. You would think, and she's sweating a little bit, so she's not completely comfortable with that, that statement, but she's, she's Naruto's kid, right? Naruto and Hinata's kid. Hinata did some very crazy things to herself, you know. Fighting pain, fighting Neji when he was still a nigga that mattered. Uh, R.P. Neji. You guys get away now, considering he's only after me. You should be a safe one you don't try to interfere. Just like Naruto, man. Enojin, that's what that was his name. I felt like it was Eno something. Enojin. 
Shikadai. Uh, yeah, they can't fight Shikamaru or Shikadai giving the Shikamaru like analysis. Meet again someday. <laughs> this is a funny fucking guy, man. Uh, little Tail Beast guy. He's, he's a funny fella. I cannot accept you fighting him alone. And she's kind of like Choji. They really do a good job kind of sprinkling in like personality traits from the parents when they um, get their like one scene every five chapters. The guys who don't, you know, the other getting want to come out carry out the responsibility that comes with it let's fucking go dude because i feel like that's what dad and big bro would do i think we should i, I fucking understand when she says big bro i don't think she's thinking about uh our guy uh fucker kawaki you promised we'd go they're not gonna kill himori this early i mean she just got korma like she's not gonna die so to that new pancakes house when it opens i haven't forgotten i love pancakes the weird thing is that like you feel like she's like a peer almost like age personality wise to these guys but, like, she's Boruto's little kid, uh, sister. So, it's, like, she's probably, like, at least a couple years younger. But maybe, like, if you're all getting, maybe it doesn't matter, really matter in the Naruto verse. I know that you're not complete idiots, which is why it's incomprehensible what it is that drastically lowers your judgment ability again and again. Yamanaka and Nojin essentially brought about his own destruction by foolishly not heeding my repeated warnings and engaging in a seemingly reckless behavior that lacked rationality. So it's just yapping his ass off, big ass words, and him him is just like hitting with that Broly walk in the first movie, and it just it's still up on him one time. Is there some correlation? And like I said in the previous video, they're all like basically gained sentient sentiment. Uh, sentimentality for the first time now. So all of this stuff that goes in the human mind is just like it's actually interesting to them. And then Timor is just like, get the fuck out of here, G. Get some of that fucking check to the stomach. Actually fucks him up a little bit. Yeah, he could be, you know, just trying to see her her limits, her ability, of course. I still I still like the way her like just everything from below the eyes, especially like the mouth nose area i know it's supposed to be like fox like like with naruto and og but it looks so fucking weird her i don't know why so yeah like i said she uses her hair basically the same way that like the chakra tails were for naruto's cloak kind of like a defense mechanism here a tail piece ball Dude. <laughs> okay so i i don't know what necessarily like gave naruto the ability to use a tail beast bomb i don't know if it's just because he because he, he could do it in part well in b1 kcm cloak he could do a tail beast bomb then so i don't know if it's just like having kurama's like direct access gives him the ability to do it because he couldn't do it before like, he couldn't do a tbb before then so she has many kurama right like you know cool with her and shit so he stops flying. He throws off his own TBB. She can do a TBB, man. She has full. Cause it, one, one thing you have to do to do a TBB is like have full uh, chakra control because it's kind of like a blend of like all nature uh, release, basically. So she can do that now, basically. There's combined. And generally, if you ever watched an anime before, when two. Uh, attacks are of similar power or same power if they just clash and this explode usually it indicates that they're similar power if they're if one is stronger than the other kind of like jiren against uh goku with his spirit bomb one force will beat the other one so this is just an anime I, I don't know who's watching this video that's never watched anime before or beam clash but whatever you can also control a biju bomb insane shit dude even given nine cells power is a prerequisite, I'm extremely curious about how you managed to upgo, up, undergo such a rapid advancement. Even more so, he's got the blitzer, I guess. He like head buttered her. So reaction time is not of his caliber. God damn, dude. I wonder if she's gonna like become progressively stronger over the course of the fight, kind of like a uh, a kale or a um, you know Broly type. I decided to release this a little bit. You made me want to test my true power. Kind of just like what I was saying previously. Uh, obviously, somebody who has Juby influence, uh, like, it's a basic reincarnation of the Juby, uh, isn't going to just be <laughs> beaten by a baby Koruma. Keep in mind that even Naruto 
with a full KCM ability and Sasuke. He couldn't beat Ishiki. You know, so. Um, it's a fatal wound, Chidori. Yeah. Why can you use a Chidori? I don't like her face. Yeah, like it's, it's very like, it's like old womanish in this this panel. God damn, she took away like his fucking rib cage. Her Chidori was that powerful. Damn, I didn't even notice this initially when I was scrolling through. I was looking at his damn monkey hands. Is her Chidori is that powerful to break through a TBB or TB Tell Beast level individual? He looks a lot, like, not a lot like Asuma, but he gives him Asuma vibes. Jorah. His name is Jorah. Okay, so, he might, they may have already said that. That sounds familiar. His name is Jorah. Uh, the main guy. His name is Jorah. There's Sharingan. He seems that eyes like yours need to master it. In that moment where he decided to chase after Sarada, I feel like Jorah might have mentioned Sasuke. But I don't know that for a fact. I'm just trying to think if he's trying to lie. But he's been so like like naive, like a kid almost, like innocent, that I don't think that he would think to lie in a situation. That's just me. But yeah, so his Renegon don't function like Sharingan. Like he can't control Chidori, which Sasuke realized early on that he's gonna need Sharingan to use Chidori. He couldn't do it without it. So I, I guess Renegon by itself is not enough to we don't even know like if those are like functional Renegon. Like in the same way that the Sage of Six Paths, not Sage of Paths, the uh, Paths of Pain, Six Paths of Pain, they had Renegon in them, but they did not have Renegon ability. Dude, we brand nigga alive. Holy shit. So he just inherently like can use Sasuke's abilities without like really thinking about it. Golly. That nigga got fucking char boiled out there. Effortless usage of codes, teleportation marks. Fall grinds, I believe, as they're called. Rasen Barricade, okay. So they've all like done their own spins on Rasen on at this point. Rasen Barricade uses defensive move. And, uh, you know, wind is advantageous. This is me thinking like, like for my Naruto base days. I believe wind has advantage over lightning release, lightning has advantage over earth. I remember, I thought. I either have that backwards or that's correct. But it's basically those three related. Wind, lightning, and earth. It may be the reverse. Because I think Akashi used an earth barrier against Sasuke's abilities back in the Fakage Summit arc. I'm trying to think back to Sasuke and Naruto's clashes. I don't remember off the top of my head which one is advantageous. But I believe wind is plus against lightning. No. No, it's not. Lightning is advantageous against wind because it's... it's Fire beats water, water beats earth, earth beats lightning, lightning beats wind, wind beats fire. That's what it is. I got it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And if you play Storm 4, if you hit somebody that's on fire with a wind ability, it heightens their damage. So that, that makes sense. Yep. Damn. Himawari and Sard are the future. Looking very un, uh, ungotten nets over here. Why did he rip her shirt off? Was it already ripped? What happened here? He used like a little um, ocular ability. Probably not a tail beast, but like he blows like part of her shirt off. I guess it's probably just to demonstrate like... I think it's debris. I think it's like he just makes debris happen from his eye and it like pierces her shirt. And you can see her healing ability. I think he's just toying with her, I suppose. Could you listen without getting mad? Just gotta beat the crap out of you. What's the point of going there? Because I can't not go. I'll do whatever I can. That's my point. What can you do? <laughs> Did he just like speed through both of them? That's pretty crazy. Like we already saw in the previous chapter, he can't react to Boruto. Like he just isn't comparable. Let's go Boruto. So he just sensed Boruto like the second that he kind of got within his vicinity. Is he going to go grab uh, Sarada too? But somehow the one thing I did know about from the get-go is you, Chia Sarda, so I ask, who are you? What will I gain if I devour you? Is that an iPad? Oh, FTG, let's go. So, I wonder, I, I don't want to sit here and theorize too long, but I wonder if they, like, eat their their target, do they become a, a, a chakra tree? I wonder if that is what happens. I don't I just I just wonder. 
like a full chocolate truck, the one we saw in, in the end of Naruto, Shippuden. Uchiha Sar does locations confirmed simple as square. Otsusuki Bar, so. So it doesn't call him Uzumaki anymore, it's just an actual Utsuzuki at this point. But they don't even think of Boruto as Uzumaki. That's interesting. Because I, I would think, and I think I may have said this, that I think that, well, actually, Charm, uh, the Charm ability of Omnipotence is supposed to be unable to affect people with karma. And I believe, I believe Otsuzuki. With that in mind, you would think that the tail beast here. Because actually, because uh, Jura, like, saw through uh, omnipotence when she tried scanning him like she he got in her dimension to start talking to, yeah yeah these tail beasts should basically be um uh, strong impervious really to omnipotence so they're just calling him otsuzuki you knowing that he's actually like naruto's kid it just i guess doesn't really matter to them i suppose or something like that maybe but yeah it's game time now i pretty much from the jump at least since we saw Baruto use that, like, Earth Rotation or something on, uh, I forgot the name of it, but since he used that ability, I pretty much thought to myself, like, Baruto is the strongest ninja out there. The only people stronger than him is probably, maybe Damon, I don't know how, but maybe Damon, basically his, like, hats ability, because his ability is hats. Maybe a hats type of way. Um... I don't think Ida... He has resistance against Ida's ability, so I don't see what Ida could do to him, really. And, um... And these... You know... Jinchuriki. Or not Jinchuriki, but Biju. I like to just make the thumbnails a panel that's not, like, spoilery as fuck. I may... I don't know. I might have to come up with my own thumbnail, dude. I don't know. Like, I can't use any one where it's, like... It's just... This is vertical. Vertical. I can't really use anything like that. It has to be horizontal. It kind of limits my options. That's going to be about it. Uh, I don't know how long we've been going, but 21 minutes. So we cut out a little bit under 20 minutes. That's about where I want to be at. Uh, this is Boruto chapter 11. Um, it's heating up Boruto against an Otsusuke. Otsusuke a, a Biju possibly coming pretty soon here.